All right, I have to I have to talk about this guy and uh, his band, Mike Moraski. This is probably somebody you've never heard of. You should hear you should hear of this band, Steel Pole Bathtub. Okay, here's the reason I listen to Steel Pole Bathtub. This is another one. Okay, this isn't a pick. This is just a scratch. A lot of itchiness. Um, it almost feels like mold particles in the air. You know, maybe you don't know. I hope you don't know. Anyhow, Mike Moraski, Steel Pole Bathtub. Now, here's how I got into these guys. I actually was an acquaintance or even friend of the drummer for this band back when we were kids. And this led me to a recent rediscovery. Uh, I remember talking to this drummer guy, Darren Morey, back in the 80s, and I don't remember the occasion or what uh, it was, but he's, uh, I remember him telling me, you know, I'm going to San Francisco, I'm in this band called Steel Pole Bathtub. And that was kind of the last I thought of it until, you see, Darren was in Mr. Epp. And I was watching a Mud Honey documentary, and they're talking about how they used to be Mr. Epp. And I'm like, wow, so Darren was in a, a band with the guys from Mud Honey. Well, Steel Pole Bathtub, as it turns out, I just discovered these guys, like I said, like maybe two months ago. Went and we listened to, uh, listened to a bunch of their catalog for the first time. And Mike Moraski is a very creative guitar player. Like, you can't find somebody more creative than that. And, you know, maybe there's a kind of dark, dank vibe to these guys. I don't know what it is, but um, there's nobody like Steel Pool Bathtub. And that's just a great example of creativity. Now, maybe I just don't, I don't know the name of that genre. I don't know if there's other bands that are a lot like that. But Steel Pole Bathtub was, kind of blew my mind a little bit, even at this old age, in this late date. Uh, and Darren, as it turns out, that guy is a monster drum player. I never knew. Like I said, the last I heard from Darren was back in the 80s. I don't even remember where or when exactly. He said he was going to this band, and, you know, I come back here. This is 30 years later, right? More than 30 years later. And uh, then I read up that they toured the world. They were actually on tour with Mud Honey and Nirvana and all these bands. and They toured Europe, like, multiple times or something. They went to Asia. Uh, they played all over the U.S. And I'm like, there's somebody, okay, somebody I met who actually made it big. And the guitar player, Mike Moraski. It's like, wow, that is very creative, and they have their own sound, and these guys almost could have, should have, would have. They should have been a lot bigger than they were. That's just uh, an incredible band. Now, maybe they were a little too dark or something to ever be huge. I don't know. Um, Nine Inch Nails got big. Um, also, I don't, you know... I would be remiss if I didn't talk about Dale Flatham on bass. Uh, just the three of these guys, Darren, Dale, and Mike, all in sync together. Um, just, you know, an incredible experience if you go and listen to them. Now, one of the hidden gems is not, it's a cover. It's uh, a cover of Surrender from Cheap Trick. And one of the things that you'll discover, in addition to what these three guys were doing on their instruments, was they used a lot of samples. I wonder what, you know, this was in the 80s and 90s. I wonder what their setup was uh, for samplers and all that. It would be interesting to know their, their rig rundown. Anyway, incredible band, and maybe one that you've never heard of. Well, now you know. If you're watching this video, go check out Steel Pole Bathtub.